Hey everybody, Rust Quick Electric here today with another video. Today I'll be going over the much anticipated RAND switch. Now, as the description, the switch will allow pass through based on a random number. Each time the set input receives power, it will roll true or false to allow pass through. When you first look at this switch, it's going to be very familiar to the memory cell actually identical, in which there is a set, a reset, a power in, and a power out function. Now, the difference being that with this switch, anytime it receives an input, it is going to roll essentially either a 1 and 0, 1 or 0, versus a memory cell in which it receives input to the set and it will flip-flop from 1 or from 0 to 1 until it is reset going back from 1 to 0. With this set, it's a random chance at it either becoming 1 or remaining at 0. So to demonstrate this, we're going to set up a simple little screen here, screen counter, to the increment counter up to the power out of the RAN switch. And then we'll set up uh, two switches here. We'll just do one on each side to make it less confusing. We will do a power in here, which will go to the set function of the RAN switch, and then we will have another one here, which will go to the reset function. And then we will give some power to both the RAN switch as well as the counter so that we can see what's going on. Alright, so we have our counter set up with the increment counter up to the RAM switch power out, which currently displays zero, and as with the memory cell, you will see the one green light showing that there's power in, but the red light showing that there is no pass-through currently. So, since we have our set switch set to this one, we're going to give it a roll, and you'll see. So what happened here is that it rolled either true or false, it hit true, therefore flipping it from 0 to 1 and allowing a pass-through of power. Now this pass-through will continue onwards until it is reset as such. And you'll see that it has gone back to a 1 green or 0 setup, not allowing pass-through. Now you may be wondering, well that seems kind of useless, what's the benefit in that versus a memory cell? So a memory cell is a 100% flip. When the set is activated, it will allow pass through until reset. Whereas the RAND, so there are times where if you flip it, we'll reset again, it does not flip from zero to one. Now this is a random chance, and it means that the person has flipped the switch, but it has not allowed a full power pass through. You may be wondering, well that seems kind of useless, what could this possibly be used for? Well, I'm going to show you a uh, neat little mini game here, so let's get on to that. Here we are. What I've created is a Russian roulette based game using the RAND switch in which a player will approach the building, activate the lever, and be given a short window to enter. There will be code locks on all the doors, but for experimental sake, there's nothing there. They'll see five in a row to live, and that you can't lose on the first shot. Now this can be a reward-based reward game, and could potentially have a loot chest within this right door, or it could just be a fun vanilla trap base, essentially, where RNG decides. So what they'll do is they'll come and sit in this chair, they'll pull the switch, and the increment will go up if they've won their shot. Now, as they continue to pull, if they miss their shot, the door will open and they'll be blasted immediately by a shotgun trap, and the game will reset. So, say a new player comes in, they start again, they can't lose on the first shot, two shots, lost on the third shot. Now, I'm going to keep going through here to show a situation in which a player happens to actually win five shots in a row, which may take some time, so if it does, I'll speed up through this part until we have a winning combo.
And here we have it. So a winning shot, the player had five. They have time to access the loot as well as exit completely before the doors will shut behind them. And then a new player can begin. Now as you saw through that power uh, play speed back, it is completely random, so it does take a ton of attempts, and you can manually adjust the amount that the player has to get in a row in order to win. So I've just picked five for an authentic Russian roulette, considering you have six shots, and the idea is that there is one missing in the chamber. For a hard style, uh, if you want to do the easy style Russian roulette, there would be one bullet with five shots available. So looking at the background here, you could have a door here preventing it, but odds are they're not going to be able to run through a shotgun trap such as this. But this is the heart of the machine. Now, explaining it, the full build would be an excessively long video, and I do make very clean schematics, so I'm going to post the schematic and quickly go through the build here. And if there is enough interest, I'll be happy to do a step-by-step -step build guide on this, but for right now I'm just going to keep it to this. So on the other side of this wall we have our counter as well as our switch. And the switch input comes to a divide where it will come and activate these two timers. One timer which will go to the set and the other timer which will go to the reset. The idea behind this is, is that the power will come through the switch, divide off into these two timers activating them so that we have a concurrent set reset with the one output if it is positive. Because this needs to be reset as a RAND cell, it will need to be a same tick reset set to make it work in one cycle. So if it is a successful pull on the trigger, the power out will go, it will come to this branch, and the branch goes two different places. It goes one to a counter increment up, and it goes to the power out blocker block pass through. Now the reasoning behind this is in order to make a game that resets after loss, it's a bit tricky because there is no inverted output with a RAND switch. So while this blocks pass through, that means that the player has currently won a shot and that it will not allow pass through to this XOR in which the branch from the power out goes to a timer for the trap doors, which will activate them for three seconds if the player loses. And it also goes to the input B of the XOR, which goes out to the counter reset. So we want the game to reset as well as the trap door to open. Next up, we would have the exit doors, in which there is a toggle on from the counter, which has a current set amount of five. It comes to this splitter. If they hit the win condition, it will go out here, as well as up through the toggle out. I took a second here to reset the environment time to 12 because it was getting a bit dark at the end of that cut, so here's a cleaner view. So the exit door conditions will be met, the timer will start that will activate the two doors for the loot room, as well as allowing an XOR condition to reset the game timer, or I'm sorry, counter, allowing a new player to begin again. As far as the entrance door, it's just a simple switch linked to a timer that goes to the door controller at the front. The schematic will be posted and everything is explained within that. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks.